Welcome back to Cooking with Michelle. I'm Joel. We have Michelle here with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension. Michelle, we are here in your beautiful demonstration kitchen for uh, what is, I think, going to be a delicious recipe. Oh my goodness. One pan pineapple fajitas. One pan. One pan. That means no extra dishes. I know. <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> We're going to get started. I'm going to go wash my hands because that's step one. We'll let mm -hmm. you talk a little yes. bit. Yes. So very, very excited about the ingredients that we're gonna use today. And we have the uh, juice for two limes. Um, then we have olive oil, we have honey, we have chili powder, we have cumin, garlic, and salt. So not too many ingredients for this wonderful recipe. And then for veggies and fruits, because of course the pineapple is gonna be our star today. And I have fresh pineapple, but we can also use it from the can, and you will have that in your recipe. But we have a red onion, but if you have a different onion, that's good too. We have two jalapenos we're gonna use today. Uh, we're gonna use red pepper, and we're gonna use green pepper that I'm already cut, and uh, I think that's it. And always, oh, and the chicken. And the chicken, <laughs> and the, the chicken. most important part. Yes, the most important. And always remember that you can always adapt these recipes the way you like it. Yeah. If there's a vegetable in here that you don't like it, switch it for switch something it else. That's also, fun. we have our, our oven already preheated. That's right, 425. And uh, because we have two ovens, uh, I have one in 425 and the other one is in broil. So what we're going to do after 10 minutes, we're going to switch, uh, we're going to put the trays on the broil. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll get to that later though. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what's our first step? So the first step is gonna be to marinate the chicken. Okay. So we're gonna put all our um, powders in here. In this okay. Bowl. Any particular order? I assume no, it doesn't matter. No, because we're gonna mix everything. And this is the beauty about this recipe. And again, um, with this recipe, if you don't like too much cumin, you can reduce the cumin. If you want more garlic, add more garlic, whatever you want to do. So we have all in here. And we're just going to mix okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that way all these um, beautiful spices are, you know, mixed very well. And then we're going to add the lemon, uh, the, ol the, ol oh, the, ah, the olive oil, and the honey. All right. And what we did with our chicken, uh, we cut them in uh, strips. So that way it is going to, of course, because there are fajitas, uh, or fajitas, that's the way I say it, fajitas. Um, and then, uh, so it's going to cook faster because, you know, there are small yep. cuts. And just mix it really, really good. And we're doing these uh, first because we want the chicken to get all those juices and all those flavors that we really want to have yeah. at the end of this recipe. And don't worry about the flavor because the pineapple basically does a good job with that. Yeah. Well, it's it's there's a lot of really interesting flavors like the honey in in here and mm -hmm. the, the pineapple, like it's going to be delicious. It is. I know that I always said that, but you know what? You know Yeah, that we do I, always mm -hmm. say that. But. Yes. Let me uncover this and that way you can put the chicken there. And normally uh, we'll be sanitizing, but because everything is going to go to the oven, you think I can do it without spilling it? You can't. Uh, you think so? Oh my it's, goodness. It's falling. Okay, I help you. There we go. <laughs> That's good. All right. And we can take that in the back. And uh, in here, we're not going to sanitize right now because we have, we're, everything is going to go to the yeah, oven. Exactly. So that's fine. So just marinate the chicken really, really good, coated with um, the wonderful marinade. And remember, Never, this is a food safety thing. Uh, sometimes people have a very good marinade and they want to use it again or they want to use it when ready to eat food. Please never do that. Remember? We actually discussed that recently with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, he was grilling out, same thing, had a marinade, wanted to toss it back in <laughs> before eating it. No! And uh, <laughs> my, my friend said, you realize that we had the raw chicken in there too. And then the person he was talking to was like, that's a good point. Right. But Who knows how long they had been doing that. <laughs> right. And sometimes we don't think about that. The so names, by the way, I'm redacting for their own, you know. Good for their privacy. Yeah. To keep um, very, um, their privacy exactly. safe. <laughs> it was not me. I can't say that. Mm. No, it was not me. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, I think that looks really good. All right. So we're going to put this on. You can leave this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to move these. Uh, if I put it in here, it will not cover the Is camera. Is good? Okay. Good, okay. So we're going to start by cutting... Um, the, the pineapple is going to be the last one. Oh, okay. Uh, you the save juices the best for last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you want to do first? Doesn't matter. Jalapeno? Okay, jalapenos. All right. I don't think we've cut a jalapeno before. No? No. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is very similar. Are we slicing to, it? Uh, no, we're going to mince. Okay. So, so we're going to cut the mm -hmm. end off. That's right. Okay. And then you're going to turn it like okay. this. And then you're just going to cut it in half. Okay. Okay. And then you're just going to use a spoon to yeah. take out. If you want to do it oh, in yeah, trash, that's right. that way um, we have a clean cutting board because we're going to be cutting a lot of stuff in here. And what happened right now is that you got a little bit more of um, on that side. So that's what is harder for you. But yeah. if you want a little bit of uh, the hot from the uh, pepper, you want to leave the white. <laughs> piece, but if not, the seeds are where the heat is. That's right. The seeds and the veins will be, yeah. how you call it. So, um, and uh, I asked Joel before we started if he was sensitive to <laughs> when he cuts the jalapenos, and he told me no. Is so, that good? Mm -hmm, okay. yeah, that's perfect. So, that's why he's not wearing gloves. But don't touch your option. eyes yeah. or <laughs> anything like that. So, but uh, for some people, you really need to wear gloves and really sometimes they are very very hot yeah so you need to be careful so what we're going to do now we're going to cut them in stripes okay mm -hmm, and then we'll uh, chop the other way mm -hmm. oh we it's messed okay. up it's all right it's okay Okay. So turn them and then we're going to chop them. Perfect. Remember always to curl your fingers. Yeah, I just, mm -hmm. I feel like I don't have control when I curl my fingers. You remember, you're in control of that knife. I know. <laughs> finish that one up a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yep. Just gotta break these apart. It's they... okay though. That works. All right. And then if you want to put it with the other one, you can um, use a spoon, or we can do it with this. All right. Right here. Yep, that's good. That's where I put. So it's two jalapenos total, and these were big jalapenos. Yeah, they are. Now, like you said, if you don't well. like it, mm -hmm, okay. we'll do the same thing. So uh, if you don't like jalapenos, you don't have to add jalapenos, but really don't worry about, um, especially the jalapenos that we're having in here in North Carolina, they're not very hot. So don't worry about the, oh, it's gonna be so hot. Actually, it's gonna be so good because if your pineapple is really sweet, the combination of flavors is gonna be amazing. What are you trying to say about our North Carolina pineapple, or our North Carolina jalapenos? jalapenos? I don't know, I don't think they're, they're growing in here. They just bring them in here, but uh, in Mexico, I cannot touch a jalapeno. Really? I would not be able to be this close from you. I, I would be like, but uh, no, I don't have the same with these jalapenos. I can eat it just like that, but not in Mexico. I don't know why. Hmm. I think they do it that way, you know, more people consume them in here and it's, they're not as hot. As yeah, and since we have like the Carolina Reaper, yeah. they're like, hey, we got to watch out for the Carolina Reaper so Maybe. enough people buy it. <laughs> That's right. All right. Okay. Just one little bit here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we can go ahead and start uh, cutting a red uh, pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you remember that one? Go ahead and tell us. With that, <laughs> with that one, we'll remove the top and the bottom. Okay. Very good. Okay, and then we're gonna do um, just cutting here. This is where you have more space to open the pepper. And then you go into the trash can and open it and all the seeds will remove the seeds there. Mm -hmm. 
that's fine. Okay, and sometimes we don't want this wide um, part, uh, so we can always uh, remove them with the knife. And it will be so much easier if we do this, and then we'll go like this. Oh, and you I'll can you. you can get a paring knife, and it will be so much easier. But because this is we're saving, um, we don't want to wash too many dishes. Yeah. So this is good. So what we're going to do, uh, we cut our, um, oh, normally for fajitas, you will cut um, strips. strips. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this from here so everybody can see uh, yeah. your knife skills. Uh, and again, you know, this is a way that normally we cut vegetables, but if at home with your children, they may say, oh, this. I don't like um, bell pepper or whatever. You can always cut them smaller so they, that way they don't taste them that yeah. much. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is one of the recipes that looks so pretty because it has so many colors. And um, normally I don't add uh, pineapple to my fajitas, uh, but when I tried this one, I love pineapple. Yeah. So when I tried this one, this is the, the really, really good. So one thing that um, we want to promote with this one is you will eat more fruits and more vegetables with this recipe, and it's only mm -hmm, oh. yes, and it's only one uh, pan. So uh, these can be made. All these cutting can be made in advance, so that way when you're ready to uh, cook your fajitas, everything is ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we'll do the onion. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna cut the onion in uh, strips too. Okay. okay. So remember how we do it? No. Okay. I always, I feel like at home I just cut it however I cut it and it's never the way Michelle cuts it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we're just going to cut these. That's right. That way we have, so we a, have flat. a flat surface. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Good. And we wash all our vegetables uh, in advance. Great. So now okay. cut it in half. And I think that's what is so important to we watch, um, you know, cooking shows and things like that because the more we see these skills, doing this right? yes, okay. you are doing perfect. So the more we do it, the uh, better we get. And I was talking with um, some of our participants yesterday for one of our cooking classes. Um, sometimes we think that a recipe can be very hard. But it's maybe because we don't know how to cut some vegetables, yeah. and it takes us longer. But as soon we we learn how to do it, it's like, oh, that recipe is not that hard. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what we're gonna do this time, we need uh, strips. So we're just gonna do like this, like this. Okay. And then we will separate them. Okay. And I think I mentioned this before, if you don't have a red, um, sorry to say a red apple, <laughs> a red onion or a purple onion, uh, you can use anything. If you don't like it, uh, that's good. But I'm telling you, the color of this, it just looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. And you can just I was about to say, I can mm -hmm. just toss That way it in you here. have everything ready there. And how much onion are we doing? Uh, that's up to you. Okay. So I actually yesterday at the cooking class I had the same question. How much onion do I need to put or how much? So when you're doing dishes like these that are so colorful, you want to keep that balance. Yeah. So you see all those colors, so now you kind of like, oh. I got you. I don't need maybe just yeah. half of the onion because maybe if we put this one will be a lot. Yeah. So the way you're doing it, that's perfect because you can see that you know, that's a balance exactly. and we can use this um, that's a good point. onion for something else. And remember, I, th I think, you know, when we're talking about baking, that's science. But when we're talking about cooking, that's art. Yeah, exactly. It's just by looks. Uh-huh. The taste is a little bit poor. I think that's plenty for us. I think so, too. All right. So now we're going to start cutting our pineapple. Oh, we had a couple more here. We'll throw those oh, in. yes, you can do that actually. We can use that too. Might as well. Mm -hmm. 
So with the pineapple, have you ever cut a pineapple before? I don't know. I usually just uh, eat them out of the food cup. <laughs> it's much easier. It doesn't taste nearly as good. Right. So um, many people will say, I'm not going to eat a pineapple because it's so hard yeah, to Yeah, right? But it's not. It's like a coconut. Nobody wants to deal with it. Right. So I'm just going to show you. You will see different ways, especially now in Pinterest. You know, you yeah, see different yeah. things that how, how can be cut. So the first thing, again, you know, we were always following the same thing. We want to have a flat surface, okay? So we'll take these out. And now you have mm -hmm. a nice, like, table decoration. That's right. And actually, they do that, I know. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to cut a little bit more because these doesn't look that pretty. Okay, now we'll have a prettier. Yeah. Um, so now remember, this is all about, I'm just going to put it That's in fine. here. Okay. Come on now. Dan, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing things. All about my presentation. <laughs> I know, and we were just talking about <laughs> that. So now I'm going to cut this part, okay? Okay, and I wanted to cut a little bit more because I knew that that part was bad. Yeah. So let me tell you, when you go to the store, this is not a good time to buy pineapples, so, but um, I really want yeah. these fajitas today. So one thing, as soon as you walk beside the pineapple, you're going to smell that sweet... Um, and if you don't smell it, it's bad? It's bad. Okay. So Easy enough. Last Much easier week, than watermelon. I'm over there flicking them. And right. Last week, as soon as I walked beside the pineapple, I'm sorry, like, okay, that one was the one that yeah. smelled sweet. This one, I tried different ones, but they were not sweet. Yeah. So this is what we got. But so right. that's okay. Okay. So what you can do, this is you can start by peeling these. Yeah. But uh, I think it's easier if we cut it like this. So remember the center of the pineapple, you don't eat that center, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do it this way because you see it's safer. Yeah. So I'm gonna just cut it in here. And now we have four pieces. Well, now we're gonna have yeah. four pieces. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel this. Okay, and so I'm going to just go like this. Oh, yeah. And I can see almost where those black dots are. Uh huh. So that way I can kind of get most of that out, right? Yeah. Like I said, this is not the best one, but we'll do it for today. Okay, so we got all these, and now the other thing that we need to do, the center of the pineapple, we don't eat that. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do, we're just, just gonna, mm -hmm, like this, okay? Now what I can do, uh, I can just use a spoon and take these things out, especially the big ones. Yeah. Or I can just try to do it with the knife, but I think it's safer with this, okay? So this one has a little bit of green, and I can just go like this, okay? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Sure. Okay. Let me clean you this one, and then you do the other ones. All right. And then we're going to have to clean. You see how all those? Yeah. That was, it was easier with the knife. Yep. I'm getting work. With the pineapple, you don't really eat a lot because, you know, a lot of these is trash. Yeah. Not in Mexico, but really? I'm not going to tell you what we do with this because it's not food safety. Uh oh. <laughs> that was okay. like something illegal or something like that. I was like, I don't know. No, no, no. So do we need to chop this up or we'll wait? We'll that? wait. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we're cleaning these because so. we're going to make a mess. We're just just watch out with your finger over there. You see how you can see yeah. where? Mm -hmm. And I know it's a little bit, you did perfect there. Yeah, right. Uh, I know it's a little bit of work, but it's worth it. Um, some fruits are really good from the can, and I like pineapple from the can. But I don't know why I really like just fresh pineapple. Well, the, yeah, it's... The can is not nearly mm -hmm. as good. And you see what I'm talking about? Did, did you smell the sweet? Yeah. A little bit. A little but bit. not, like, if it's a good, good apple, apple, pineapple, 
you will smell it. Let me move all of these. Okay. So you have more space. We're making a mess in here. That's okay. Sorry, right. we're only using one dish though. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep telling ourselves that. The tricky thing too with pineapple, mm -hmm. and I'm saying this from my own experience, is it's super slippery too. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. The more you cut, right. Just make sure you're. But believe me, it's not as bad as mangoes. Well, mangoes yeah, that's true. Mangoes are like. With that, you really need to be careful. That is perfect. You want to cut that off? Yeah, well, I guess we'll get that on That's the, the part that, mm -hmm, that you're going to be able to cut. And I think you can go a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, see, slippery. Mm -hmm. Let me move these for you. I have one more. Nothing if you turn it the other way. You I have think so more too. Space, but it's okay. <laughs> We're in it now. Yep. So it's so amazing seeing people. I when I go to Mexico and they're selling different snacks made with pineapple or yeah. coconuts or things like that. How fast they cut and you know we're not at that level yet. No, we're not. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is perfect. I'm going to um, bring a paper towel so it doesn't get that um, dirty because that's the pineapple that we're going to use. Okay. Got scared when you're sorry, not like that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do a tidbit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just chop it up. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, that's good. And if you think they're too big, we can do it uh, one more way. Like. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to do it this way too? Yes, I okay. think so. Like this? Mm -hmm. Think I can do it all at one time? I think so. We're going to try it. You're a professional. Look at right that. Now. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll just put them there. Where at? Mm -hmm. uh, with the other vegetables. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to save them in here because okay. that will look prettier if we put them on top. I'll, you know what I will do? What's that? Cut these way first. Several. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. That way you don't, it's, it's, I think it's more comfortable. Yeah, no, you're mm -hmm. exactly right. And then you just turn it and it will look better. Yeah, and easier. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to add those vegetables into our chicken mix and we're going to marinate them a little bit too. Uh, but the pineapple is going to be on top, okay? And you will see how we're going to do this. And, and we want the pineapple to be on top so when it start, all the juices start it getting out, down. it's going to go, to, it's going to cover all the other vegetables and chicken. Have your first experience with a pineapple. Right? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Okay, great job. All right, so we've tidied up just a little bit. We've mm -hmm. got our chicken, our veggies, our pineapple already. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to mix our veggies. That's right, we're going to put chicken. our veggies there. We just dump it all in basically. Yeah, that's good because we're going to mix everything. Okay. And that's why you need a big bowl so we can kind of have some space. I yeah. think we needed a bigger bowl, but I don't have another clear. It's all so. right. It's all right. <laughs> I can grab oh, that okay. for you. Mm -hmm. And then just mix everything. Look at these colors. I know. Isn't that amazing? And again, normally we will not be doing this close to the pineapple, but because we're going to cook the pineapple, it's okay. Yep. So now what we're going to do, we're going to divide all that 
in two uh, different trays because okay. we want to have just one layer. I gotcha. And if you feel that you have a little bit more vegetables, you just yeah. kind of, you can do both. Oh, at the we just lost time. some chicken. It's okay. We're gonna you grab that. <laughs> that you put all those juices there. Does that look about even? Yeah, I think so. Close? If not, we can always move, like now, kind of like make just one layer. So we don't want, you know, that's why this recipe is so um, fast. Yeah. Because it's just one layer and it cooks really quick. I think we need some more chicken. On that side? On okay. the left side. What do you think? Oh, it looks amazing. You think that's I even? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put the pineapple on top. Okay. So kind of make it pretty. And you can always cut those pineapples a little bit smaller, but it's okay. It was your first time cutting a pineapple. Well, and I like pineapple, so like I don't... You, you I don't want care if the things. chunks are big. Okay, that's good. And I think we mentioned this, but again, if cutting a pineapple is not your thing, you can always use it from the can. Why not? That's for me later. I'm saving three pieces of pineapple I'm to eat. Sorry, but you can't. What? Remember, it was close from the chicken. Dang. I was so looking forward to eating some pineapple oh, later. Sorry. <laughs> she busted me, man. Okay. All right. So now we just got to put it in the oven. That's right. Okay. It's only for ten minutes. Okay. Ten so minutes. So we're not gonna worry about the internal uh, temperature right now because okay. we're gonna broil. I'm gonna open it this way for you. Okay. So four twenty-five, and we'll see you in ten minutes. Cool. So we've had these baking for 10, ten minutes. minutes now. Mm -hmm. We're basically just gonna move them over here to our broiler. Yes. If you were doing it at home, uh, you want to take them out, then preheat your broil, and then you can put them back in the oven. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're gonna wait three to five minutes, and, uh, and guess what? What? Before we eat, we need to check temperature. Temperature. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's put five minutes. Cool. All right. So we're going to now check our internal temperature. We're looking for 165 in the chicken. I am so proud of you. I'll tell you what, I don't like that one. We're going to go for this one. And that one's 165. That one's a big one too. We're gonna check. Do this you want one. me to move it a little bit? So we'll oh no, can... I'm good. That one's good. 166, so we're good. Okay. So I'll cool. let you do this. And we can put them in here on the stove. Our oven and so is going crazy nice. right now. Yes, I think it's um, I'll take care of the oven. Okay. Man. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at what you did. This smells delicious. Look at all the juices, too. So if you wanted to have this look, like you see in here, it's a little bit burning. Yeah. And you just switch the um, the trays. Oh, I got so you. So this yep. one was the one that is in the bottom. Yep. And, but that's, both of these are really good. All right. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. That's right. <laughs> So you can try it on top of a tortilla. These tortillas are the ones that are low carbs. Uh, and the main ingredient is not whole grain, but it has a lot of whole grain. And it's only 50 calories for this oh. one. So I'm going to, well, before I eat, I'm going to tell you the nutritional facts for this recipe. And these should serve six people. And I think those are good portions. Yeah. Uh, one and a half cups is the serving size. Calories, 329. Uh, for total fat, 9.8. It looks like it's a lot of fat, yeah. right? 
but only for saturated fat, it's only 0.7. Oh, wow. So this is really good. And then for sodium, a little bit high, but not too bad, 525. Total carbs, 18.7 grams, fiber, 2.2, sugar, 14.1, and protein, 40.7. Wow. So this is really, really good. Not a lot of calories. Be careful because I'm it's sure hot. it's really hard. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to try it. I'm excited. If you want to add any salsa, that's really good. But remember, it's not on your calories. It's hot. It is hot. I'll wait. <laughs> but it's really good. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me that this is your favorite. No. Because you always tell me this. But the bar is always, <laughs> I tell you, we've done a lot of this style chicken, you know, with that seasoning, mm -hmm. that kind of taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. It amazes me how simple that seasoning is. Can give some, it some, what, some three, much three, flavor, four ingredients, right? And it gives mm -hmm. so much flavor. I think that's what's amazing to me. And I know you were not, because this is really hard, um, I know you were not able to put the pineapple oh, with yeah, the I'm chicken getting to that. yet. Yeah. So when you're trying those two flavors together, it is just amazing. I'm going to go for it. He's brave. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Like, I didn't need any salsa on top. Because this is just so... By the way, I think you're good now. It's cool. It's cool now. I, I hope you're not lying to me. That, that, that bite was much more bearable. Okay. That is amazing. It is. I'll be honest. We were talking before we started filming, and I've never done mm -hmm. pineapple with... There, there are some restaurants that are doing that pineapple mm -hmm. with the, the Latin, you know, flair, and mm -hmm. I've never done it. I've never eaten it. That's amazing. I also... It is. Growing up, never liked pineapple. I don't know, just as a kid, really? right? Never liked really? pineapple. It was weird to me. But now I wasn't like a grown, I'm not an adult. I'm still a kid at heart. But That's right. I absolutely love pineapple. Mm -hmm. And this is amazing. Yes. And we forgot to warm our tortillas. I think we need to warm them. But um, this is amazing. It's still good. All right, we're going to go finish this because it's lunchtime here in the kitchen. And uh, this is absolutely amazing. I'm finally getting my pineapple that I wanted. So... It's That's a good right. day. A safe pineapple. <laughs> a safe pineapple. Uh, if you have a question about this recipe or any other recipes that we've done, reach out to Michelle here at the Cooperative Extension in Goldsboro and uh, give this recipe a try at home and let us know what you think. If there's something you'd like to see us work on here in the kitchen, let us know. We're open to suggestions. So. That's right. As we'll always. See you next time. Thank you. We appreciate thank it. You.